¡Alerta! ¡La revolución es imparable! ¡Alerta! ¡Tenemos que parar este soldado! Get onto that train. Magnificent. Go ahead and blow the armored car and take whatever you need, my brother. Vámonos. Come on, John. Get those explosives. We must hurry.
<laughs> Not a bad day of robbing the establishment to give to the poor, eh, Mr. Marston? Very noble, I'm sure, but I need to know where Williamson and Escuela are holed up. All in good time, amigo. I'm off to deliver these goods. I'll see you back at the ranch. Oh, my spies tell me they soon will have the information you need. Amas! John! John! Thank God you have come. That wretched animal de Santa has been sent to oversee a massacre in El Sepulco. Come, we must stop him and finally kill that vermin and all of Allende's other followers. Hurry, I don't know how much time we have. Go! We must hurry! We cannot allow the Santa to murder more of our people! Don't worry! He won't get away this time! You must hate him as much as we do for what he did to you in Chuparrosa! He's hardly worth hating! I just want to collect what he owes me! What a coward he is! He only likes to kill when a man is on his knees! He likes to do a lot of things to men on their knees! That is also true! Well, now I hope you will have your revenge! I need him alive! He's got information on the men I'm looking for. And when you have the information? Then he's all yours! It is good that you are helping Luisa. It ain't right what happened to her father. She's a brave girl. She can fight as well as any man. She ain't the only woman I've seen fighting for Reyes. Yes, women. Even children, everybody must become a soldier if we are to win this war. That's a lot to sacrifice. 
I just hope it's worth it. It is better for thy free than live as slaves. Were you a soldier once, compadre? A soldier? No, I was never much good at taking orders. So where did you learn about explosives? El sepulcro is just up ahead. All right, let's hold up here a minute. <laughs> Tell your men not to open fire till I make a move. We don't want to give them a chance to escape. And leave DeSanta to me. I need him alive. We will wait for your lead, senor. En el nombre del gobierno provincial del coronel Allende y del estado de este país, te condeno a muerte por traición. ¿Tienes algunas últimas palabras? No. Come on, quick. Mexican army after you. You enjoying yourself down there? Come on! You're angry. I can understand that. Come to an agreement. Vas a pagar de Santa. You fucking pig! Go back to your country. Where is Javier the Square? this piece of shit now, senor? Or would you like to pleasure yourself? You, you don't have to do this. He's all yours, fellas. I got what I need. Esto es para México! It is done. Come on, now we find your friend. Are you crazy? We cannot stop now. If it ain't me, it's someone else. Get back on your horse. We don't have time for this. Thank you, compadre. It should really have been Yo. you. Why are you stopping? I don't like to kill a man on his knees, even if he does deserve it. That man is responsible for hundreds of innocent dead, maybe thousands. He will burn in hell. 
We all will, my friend. Espinosa is dead. De Santa is dead. The army is with our leaders. We must move on Allende now before it's too late. First, you need to help me find Javier Escuela. Come on. Long time ago, but not anymore. Old friends make the worst enemy. You're telling me. Escuela is known in this province. He was a revolutionary one, but then he went to your country. Now they say he kills for anybody who will pay. That sounds about right. Come on, faster. Deserted. Is it always this quiet? No, but maybe the girls are occupied. Ahora mismo! Hey, you, lady. Hmm. Where's Javier Escuela? <laughs> Javier Escuela. He hasn't been seen around here in months. You shot up this place for him, huh? I wouldn't spit on him if he was on fire. I don't blame you. The Captain DeSantis said he was here. <laughs> and you believe him? You must be more stupid than you look. <laughs> Go shoot up some place else. <coughs> <laughs> Cuando te vea la próxima vez, que sea un poco más durito, ¿eh? <laughs> And I mean rougher, ¿eh? <laughs> What would your most loyal follower, Luisa, say about that? Who? Luisa, the girl from Campo Morada. Uh, all right. 
A gentleman never tells, but she was a most wonderful... Uh, I just say she was increíble. Yes. Let me tell you something. I strongly recommend her. You take her when you have the chance, my brother. She thinks <laughs> she's your wife. My wife? These peasant girls, they believe every word a fellow says. So naive. It's really quite charming. I love peasants. No, you love peasants? I love them. They have such purity. Are you gonna marry her? Ha! Marry a peasant? My dear boy, don't be absurd. I'm going to be the next president of Mexico. My wife will meet ambassadors, kings, other great men. The very thought that I would marry some peasant girl with a tight gun and the hands of a farmer? Well, I really don't think so. My mother, que Dios la cuide, would turn in her grave. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But come on, let's run. I've got an amazing present for you, my brother, I huh? guess? The man you seek. Together, we will bring them to justice. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, mi hermano. This is the day we have both been waiting for. Bien. Vamos, hermanos. My brother, I just received word of your fight with Allende's men in El Sepulcro. Finally, the Santa is dead. But why did you not kill him yourself when my men gave you the chance? I could see they wanted it more than I did. The Santa had given me what I needed, or I thought he had. A lot of young boys will sleep safer in their beds now. The Santa was only following orders. He was dumb and loyal to his awful master, but that's all he was. Where are they, Abraham? They are at El Presidio, John. Can you believe it? The place we first met. The scene of one of my greatest victories over Allende's traitors. You could not write a better story. It's a story I want to finish. It is a story we both want to finish, my brother. If my rebels can take El Presidio, then we can move on Escalera. The revolution is happening, John. Are you sure they're there? Escuela and Williamson? Javier Escuela is there. That much I am sure of. I don't know about Williamson. Escuela will do for now. I am told they paid Allende to hide them. They have been in his protection since you arrived in Mexico. You see, you should have trusted your brother, Abraham, all along. When we have him, then you can start making me feel bad. Immediately after you thank me for everything I've done for you, amigo. I knew I had heard the name Javier Escuella before. He is from this province. They tell me he was once a notorious bounty hunter and also one of the early revolutionaries. That sounds about right. All the former rebellious urges took hold, of course. <laughs> I think I was still traveling in Europe at the time. I was living in Madrid with the ambassador's wife. That sounds about right as well. Escuela was always a torn man. A cynic who desperately wanted to be a romantic. Whereas you, young, are a romantic who wants to be a cynic. Javier would die fighting for what he believed in. He had a lot of passion, but no love. Although he really admired Dutch, of course. But then we all did. He was the leader of your little group of fortune hunters, right now. When Dutch started falling apart, it hit Javier harder than any of them. He went crazy. It was like the one thing he'd ever believed in turned out to be a fraud. You talk about him fondly. It ain't exactly fondness. We was close once, but he never cared for me or anybody else. Not any of his so-called brothers. He left me to die, but he had the chance to save me. And didn't he teach you any Spanish during all this time you were together? I remember cabron being used a lot. Well, now you get to pay that cabron a surprise visit. I ain't here for revenge. I just need him and Williamson. that girl back there? Another loyal supporter of free Mexico. You want a name? You 
can't even remember the name of the girl you're married. Have you ever known Power Young? I'm a semi-literate farmer and hired killer. I ain't in the power game. Then you will never have the knowledge that any woman will bear your child. Yet for her, it will be an honor. I've known about enough bastards without making too many more of my own. A man like me cannot be with just one woman. It would be an injustice to the people I have devoted my life to serve. You have an interesting way of serving the people. Kind of like a national gigolo. I owe it to the future of Mexico to breed, my brother. If I can get noble blood flowing through the veins of peasants, can you imagine how great this country can be? An army of reyes, of kings. I wish I'd never asked. Have you enjoy your time in Mexico, Jones? It ain't exactly been a vacation. Why are you talking like this is already over? I don't know. One way or another, this might be the end. What do you think of the Mexican people? I ain't sure. Some of them been kind, but a lot of them tried to kill me. Come, my brother. I know what you Americans call us. Greasers, sun greeners, pepper guts. For a land of immigrants, you don't like foreigners very much. I don't care who a man is what he does or where he's from. If he treats me right, I'll do the same. It's that simple for you, isn't it? You would make a fine socialist. What about the Chinese workers here? I hear you ain't exactly made them very welcome. That is different. They are an inferior race. You have all the makings of a great leader, Abraham. The revolution is gaining momentum. Do you have any idea how many times I've thought about the day I will march into Escalera and storm Allende's mansion? I think I have some idea. Soon it will be me sleeping on those silk sheets and the colonel lying with the cucarachas. From what I've seen of Allende, you might want to wash those sheets. <laughs> you might be right, my friend. Do you really think a revolution can work? Do you have enough men? Revolution begins with one person, Joe. One person ain't gonna defeat the Mexican army. The poor are many and together we are strong. They are ready to fight. If it does work, he will. If it does work, and you take down Alinde, what then? I will give the greatest speech of my life. But after all the fighting and all the speeches are over, what will you do? I will march on the capital and take on Sanchez himself. All right, when Mexico's yours, and you have all the power you desire, what will you do with it? Like any great leader, my brother, I will delegate. I have to say I am not usually in favor of American interference, but it will be sad to see you go. I ain't going nowhere till I have Bill Williams. What will you do when this is over? I want to go home, work my land, and grow old with my wife. That is hard for me to imagine. It's hard for me, too. But I've pulled this trigger too many times now. I'm getting tired. Well, get ready to pull it a few more times. El Presidio will be heavily guarded. Oh, I think I got a few more left in me. Maybe one day you can return to Mexico like Lando Ricketts, a famous outlaw come to die in the sunshine. I can always use a cynical American renegade on my staff. I'll bear that in mind. Let's not talk for a while, my friend. We should take some time to think about what it means to be heroes.
Presidio is just up ahead. Prepárate, mi hermano. This is our time. Mike May will launch a ruse attack on the side entrance to the fort. Meanwhile, you, my American friend, will drive this wagon at the front gate and jump off when you're close. He's been packed with five crates of TNT. That sounds crazy. How long's the fuse? <laughs> yes, like I say, fun times. It's plenty long enough, I think. I see you in there, amigo. Go on, John. You can do this. Time. <laughs> Hello, brother. It's uh, good to see you. I heard you was coming. You took your time, no? Come on, you're not gonna shoot your own brother, are you? We was family. Yeah, we were. Then you and Dutch went crazy and family didn't mean so much. <laughs> so now you do the government's work. And what do you do? You just work for a different government. <laughs> Come on, brother. I think we should go our separate ways, huh? What you and Dutch did was wrong, and the way you left me was wrong. Now, I hate to judge, but as it turns out, it's you or me. The way I see it, might as well be you. We thought you was dead, brother. I promise. I'm telling the truth. Besides, I can give you a bill. And Dutch, Dutch is in Colombia. I can take you straight to him. Hmm? You left me to die whoa. to save your own skin, and now <laughs> you expect me to care whoa, about whoa, you? You got it all wrong, brother. I've always loved you. Even now. You don't have the heart to kill me. <laughs> Jendy. It's a little late for revenge, John. I ain't here to kill you, Javier. This is just business. You're gonna be locked up for a hell of a long time. Unless they choose to hang you. Come on, amigo. Abigail wouldn't want this. 
Abigail would have killed you already. She always thought you was a creep. We was family, brother. Ah, oh, you shit. Don't be sure about what you're doing, brother. You saw me out. Didn't that life we had mean nothing to you? Oh, ah, oh, you puto. Ah, oh, one day, one day, I promise you, you're gonna regret this. One day's about all you got left. Oh, I hope you and your wife and children rot in hell. You know, that life we lived is over. And when we was living it, it didn't mean nothing anyway. It was just an excuse, and we all knew. What I knew is that you was always a puto. And you're still a puto. Marston, come with me. The army sent reinforcements. Come. Yeah, go with your puto. Oh, 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 oh. We have See to hold me. the fort, dog. Use one of the cannons. Two old friends reunited. It is a beautiful thing. Mr. Marston, fancy seeing you down here. I must say it's a pleasant surprise to see you. You've done well, Mr. Marston. Now, Javier here gets to see how far the hand of justice can reach. <laughs> Come on, you. Get in the damn automobile. Can we assume one of my commitments is cleared? Unfortunately, nothing is cleared, John, until your obligations are met. We need you to find Williamson, then head to Blackwater as quick as you can. We have reason to believe that Dutch Vanderland is in the area. Oh, your wife sends her regards. <laughs> Thank you.